We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and her family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today we're making a delicious stove top ham, y'all. Yes, and here are our ingredients. This is a ham that I um, purchased at a local supermarket. It's fully cooked with a bone in. Okay, I have removed the plastic wrapping from my ham and I have taken it to my a sink and I rinsed it off with lukewarm water. And now we're going to cook it. As you can see down in my pot, I have placed some water and I also have placed a sheet of foil. And I'm adding more water to our pot. Now we are placing our ham into our pot. I usually put the skin side down if it does have skin on. This will make the skin side more tender. I'm adding more water to make sure I have enough water in there to steam this ham because um, the water evaporates while it is steaming so I make sure I add enough water in there. Here I'm showing you how much water I have, have added and I'm making sure that the uh, skin side is down so that it can get tender. Now it's time to turn on your heat. Here I'm adding sugar or you can add honey, whichever one you prefer. This is to help cut down on the sodium in your ham. I'm using like two or three tablespoons. Sprinkle all over the ham. Since our ham has begun to boil, we're going to lower our heat to low and let this steam for one hour. First, we're going to place a couple of sheets of foil on there to hold in the steam, letting you know that Time to time, go back and check your ham to make sure the water hadn't evaporated out uh, because we want our ham to continue to steam and not burn. You can always add extra water. Okay, reminding you again to let this steam for one hour. Then we're going to be back with the final result. Okay, y'all, our ham have steamed and is ready to be served. Okay, I'm going to show y'all how I remove my ham from the, our pot. Uh, I'm going to use two forks and place them in firmly and remove it to our platter. Okay, we're going to slice up our ham and because um, I'm going to take this to my sister's Christmas party that we have yearly and so uh, this is what one of the dishes that I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring sliced ham and my buffalo turkey wings. Just letting you know you can also put your ham in the oven if you don't want to put it on top of the stove. This is something I have been doing for years. You can follow some of the same steps that I use with with less water. Um, but it is just so, so delicious either way. If you don't want to use the sugar, add honey. I hope y'all enjoyed cooking with me as much as I always enjoy cooking with you all. Y'all, I may not been posting a lot of videos up, but I'm still here, y'all, and I'm doing well. And so sometimes people are concerned about me. I'm doing okay, y'all. And I won't dare complain. And I am so grateful to have so many people that are concerned about me. And I thank y'all for that. I thank y'all for your love and your support. And uh, y'all just continue to pray for me while I continue to pray for you. Okay, y'all. 
I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell to get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. Okay, y'all, as always, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day and bye-bye for now. Love y'all. Stay safe and be blessed. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. That's a hit.